fucking monkey. Hey guys, I always start out with hey guys. Well, it's Mr. Hollow Point, and we are over the next month going to be reviewing some different air rifles uh, along with some hollow points as always. Uh, what I'm working with right now is uh, extreme air guns and this is the extreme hunter 40 caliber. Um, as you've seen in the uh, 457 video I did a while back um, we've got a few upgrades. We've got a big cocky handle here to grab onto now. Uh, the feed bolt for the bullet has got kind of a teardrop on it. So you'll drop your bullet in, close, goes down, charge handle comes back, but there's a safety feature on here which I really like, is you pull that up into this notch and there's no way if you drop this it's going to go off. Uh, I think that's really cool for these guys like in Australia where mandatory safety, of course is mandatory. So to get an air rifle like this into some countries, there has to be some type of safety because they do drop the gun, I think, from like three feet on the carpeted floor to make sure it can't discharge. So and then you just pull it back down and it's ready to fire. I think that's a great feature, especially if you're climbing into a tree or you're getting out of your tree or walking in the woods. It's always nice to have an additional safety feature there. Um, of course, this is a 40 caliber or 408 diameter bullet. That, uh, we're shooting through here. Uh, bullets for this gun we have a uh, 200 grain pointed, a 225 hollow point, a 230 hollow point, a 265, and we're working on a 280, 275, 280 grain hollow point uh, in the real future. Um, let me get a ruler so we can see how long this is. Be right back. What are you monkeys doing over here? Are you getting me in trouble? Are you getting me in trouble with the mama? <sighs> okay, we're back after that brief intermission. Now, get this out so we don't scrape anything up. Well, this is from the end of the barrel to where the breech is. I know the barrel's threaded in about this far. Uh, that's 30... That's like 31 and a half inches. 32. Uh, I think they're calling it a 28 inch though. Um, and then you can see the charge tube is 24 inches. Um, that is a slightly larger diameter charge tube for the air than most guys are using. So even though it's a little bit shorter, it still has a larger volume of air in it, which I think is kind of neat. Um, it also makes it a little bit shorter for you guys that like short guns. Uh, beautiful, beautiful glossy walnut stock. Uh, I know I have all sorts of different uh, laminates, different colors, things like that that you can play with. Um, but uh, I really like this. It's got the adjustable butt pad on it, which is all standard features. Um, you can now your knob here, if you like something a little bit shorter, you can call up and they'll make you a, it's hard to see. So that cocking knob can be shorter so it's not out as far if you've got smaller hands or you can make it longer if you've got big beefy mitts it's kind of your choice like always put the bullet in first close that and then you'll cock it and you're ready to hunt okay always practice good safety standard set of weaver sights on there um, I always have a quick detachable scope because that's just me personally uh, nice milled trigger guard it's lightweight, shoulders nice, uh, shoots really nice. Very flat shooting rifle, very flat shooting. Uh, this gun, particularly this 40 cal, likes its peak pressure right now is about 4200 PSI. That's where it's getting its maximum. You go up to 4500, 4600, and work your way down the bell curve if you're target shooting. 
Um, like most big bore air rifles, you've got three good shots. The first two are the most powerful, and then a third quality follow up. Um, Let me get my paper because I am not prepared. Hold on, I'll be right back. I am now right back. All right. 4100 PSI, and we're shooting this 225 grain hollow point. 4100, gave me. 944 feet per second, 4200, I had an average of 960, 965 to 970, give or take a little bit, you know, because it's not an exact digital gauge when you're putting air in there, um, so it's really fast, I mean, that's just over, that's over 400 foot-pounds of energy, um, you can see this hollow point here when I shot the ballistic gel, which you'll see in the video, uh, this one soft grain, or excuse me, soft cast, mushroomed out almost inside out. I mean, you can't tell me that that would not drop a deer or a hog or something like that. Hard cast went further. This went almost 16 inches through the ballistic gel and mushroomed slightly. Big difference between hard cast and soft cast. And you see in the video, I really think this soft cast is the way to go on bullets. Uh, unless you're shooting, you know, something in the skull and you want a harder bullet. Um, but I like to soft cast over the hard cast any day of the week, but that's my personal preference. Um, as you can see, when we shoot the ballistic gel, there's a lot of energy being transferred into that. But I think this 40 cal is kind of neat. I think it's something that uh, for guys that want to be shooting flat range, uh, or I should say long distance at flat, flat trajectories, um, I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to be topping 1,000 feet a second with this really soon. Um, Brent and Allen are constantly working, tweaking, upgrading things, and uh, I'll be getting rifles to play with and demo uh, throughout the following year and try to bring you some instructive videos. Um, if you like these guns, uh, the phone number will be on the website there in the video and on my website. And generally, anything you see me playing with uh, is for sale. So. Um, it's like, you know me, I never keep anything very long, whether it's a, uh, you know, demo, gun on demo or my own personal gun. Everything's for sale because everything has a price. It's the American way. So, if you think you like it, give me a call, give me an email, or give these guys a call. All right? Any questions, don't hesitate to call or write. All right, that's enough of that for now. Let's go shoot something.